hello everyone welcome back to the channel again in today's video i will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of installing and setting up react native on a brand new macbook uh, with m1 m2 or m3 chip for this video i will i will use a uh, macbook with m3 chip whether you are a beginner or a superior uh, experienced developer this tutorial is going to help you get started so let's jump in so far i have prepared uh, some uh, one document through uh, in which i have written all the steps so here you can see first step is you need to install homebrew so uh, to check whether homebrew uh, is installed or not we can use the brew uh, command in uh, terminal and check and how to install homebrew earlier i have already prepared a video if you go my old video recording you can see how to install homebrew and uh, to check whether view is installed or not you can just go to a terminal and try view you can see is replying show uh, it is view is installed so after view is installed then we need to install the node so which is needed uh, for uh, uh, react native or react.js development so we'll use uh, brew to install the node you can go and brew install node and you can see it is now it's starting to install the node it will take some time and it will install the all the dependency of node and node will be set up in your system now okay now you can see a node is a node has been installed okay so now we'll go the next step is uh, uh, we need to have yarn or npm uh, should be installed in our system so uh, to, uh, uh, i will prefer npm uh, sorry yarn uh, because yarn is more faster as compared to npm and it has like uh, better facilities which provides as compared to npm to, ins uh, to install yarn you will view install yarn you go here and install view install yarn so it will install the yarn so uh, it will uh, install the yarn and uh, earlier i installed so it is now installing and if you have not installed you will install the yarn so after uh, npm now you have to install a tool called watchman so watchman uh, react native uses this watchman to detect whenever you made and code changes then it automatically built and push the update on your device we, uh, uh, without you need to render it manually refresh okay so watchman uh, so uh, the command is brew install watchman so we'll go here in the, our terminal and we'll do brew install watchman so now it will start installing the watchman so after it will take few seconds and after that it will install the watchman now uh so uh, you have to download the xcode so which earlier i have downloaded you can go to app store and uh, you can go to app store and you can install the xcode you can go app store and search for xcode okay then that will be you can download from you can go and you can here it will show the like get how it is showing you can open install so now i have installed so it is showing open okay so now um uh, uh, now you need to after xcode you need to install cocoa so CocoaPod which is needed for uh, like uh, to run uh, iOS setups in React now uh, for React Native in uh, you need to install CocoaPod. So to install CocoaPod, so uh, you need to similarly just go brew install CocoaPod. So it will install the CocoaPod. Now you can see it will install in the CocoaPod. Okay. So now uh, the Visual Studio. This is the Visual Studio I am showing and. Uh, you can install the uh, if you have not you can install the visual studio go and search in google google and download visual studio from google search is visual studio download visual studio code download it will i can go and download the visual studio code for macbook directly type mac okay so you can directly go visual studio code and you can see here is the like for macbook is there you can click on and download it okay so now uh, uh i yarn i have already uh i told you to install the yarn you can install globally uh i've already told so now uh we need to go uh, and uh, now it's time to create a react native cli projects so to for that uh, to create a react native cli f 
it react nectar cli should be installed so for that uh, to, as i told we'll be using yarn uh, so i'll use yarn at react native cli similarly if you want and to use npm so you can use npm install react native cli okay so you can go here and download yarn at react native cli now it will add it will download the react native cli in your system so if you want npm you can tell npm install react native cli okay so now you have to make a react native project so to make react native project these are the uh, steps so you can go react native and in it and you can write sample sample one anything you can give so sample one you can give sample one also you see so now it's react native is already installed in your system so now it will start creating in sample one project it will take uh, it will download the templates uh, for uh, uh, the Agnetic project and it will after some time and it will be it will be the pro the project will be clear okay the projects will be created okay so now you can go and click a system you can see uh yes sample one is created you can go inside sample one okay now you can see now you can see uh, the respective uh, for respective files are all are created okay so now you uh, are to run uh, uh, it in android studio uh, sorry run it in android so you need to uh, uh, you need to go and uh, type the command uh, yarn run android okay similarly for uh, ios you need to run yarn run ios so uh, in my and before that you need to uh, do the android uh, setup in your system earlier in my video i have told how to do an uh, like uh, install and uh, um, android studio and do the android setup earlier similarly in, if you are using xcode you can do the ios setup so uh, there is a different video for that so now let's uh, yarn run android so what it will do it will try to uh, create an uh, sorry, try to run the android in an uh, um, simulator android simulator so i have you can see this is my simulator here uh, it is uh, it has uh, created it is on the app so uh, to uh, end it uh, and you can see this is the package man and like this is the uh, uh, this uh, this is the uh, a tool which uh, react native will launch on every time it is a metro bundle so it will keep on running every time for every react native project you need to run in android ios so uh, if you want to uh, refresh you can type the r just type r it will as you can see right side it is got to refresh similarly uh, for uh, uh, for ios so you can go and type react native run ios so if your ios simulator is running or you have a device so it will uh, 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 it will uh, run that run it in a uh, ios device so um, uh, there is some issue in ios setup i'll show in a different video how to run react native in ios device thanks for watching